State Department says nothing justifies Israeli strikes on UN facilities. Islamic State released a video which purports to show beheading of British aid worker. Israeli Prime Minister and Iranian President to address UN General Assembly. And Tony Bennett makes a surprise appearance at Gaga's Tel Aviv show. Shalom and welcome to the Jerusalem Post News. Today is Sunday, September 14th, and here are your top stories. The U.S. is condemning Israeli airstrikes on U.N. facilities in Gaza during the 50-day-long Operation Protective Edge. We were horrified by the strikes that hit UNRWA facilities, emphasized that UNRWA facilities must not be used for military purposes, as some were by Hamas, uh, and that they should not use civilians to shield fighters, but uh, also at the same time, the suspicion that militants are operating nearby does not justify strikes that put at risk the lives of so many innocent civilians. State Department spokeswoman Marie Harf on Thursday spoke to reporters in Washington in response to questions about a report issued earlier that day, which accused Israel of committing war crimes by indiscriminately targeting civilians during three attacks against UN Relief and Works Agency schools. At the time, Israel said it had targeted Hamas terrorists in each instance. Islamic State militants fighting in Iraq and Syria released a video on Saturday which purported to show the beheading of British aid worker David Haynes. The footage could not be immediately verified, however the images were consistent with that of the filmed executions of two American journalists, James Foley and Stephen Sotloff, in the past month. Haynes, a 44-year-old father of two from Perth in Scotland, was kidnapped last year while working for a French agency. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu this morning sent his condolences to the British nation for, quote, yet another barbaric act performed by ISIS. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and Iranian President Hassan Rouhani are expected to square off again in separate speeches to the UN General Assembly later this month in New York. Rouhani, who in his speech to the world body last year, tried and largely succeeded in putting a softer, gentler image of Iran than the one left by his predecessor, Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, is scheduled to address the UN this year on September 24th, the first day of the general debate. Netanyahu is expected to speak either on September 29th or 30th. The general debate runs this year from September 24th to 30th, and Palestinian Authority President Mahmoud Abbas is also expected to address the annual assembly. International superstar Lady Gaga performed for more than 20,000 fans last night at Park Hayyarkon in Tel Aviv. The provocative pop stars show Art Rave the Art Pop Ball included songs from her latest album as well as older favorites. At the beginning of the show, she told the crowd, don't mess around tonight, it's time to celebrate. Gaga was joined on stage by American singing legend Tony Bennett, with whom she recently recorded the upcoming duet album, Cheek to Cheek. They sang The Lady is a Tramp from the album. One thing is for sure, when Lady Gaga comes to Tel Aviv, she rarely disappoints. Listen to me when I And that's all for today. Don't forget to go to jpost.com and check out our Facebook page for more on these developing stories. Until tomorrow, shalom from the Jerusalem Post studio.